<laughs> no, but like when you say something, you can't control how somebody hears it because it goes into their whole... I always say it's like drugs that have been stepped on, you know, a kid's cut with their whole childhood, all of their experience. Like when I used to first doing the bits when I first met my wife, and it was just classic fish out of water, right? Going up to Harlem to meet her, and as the numbers got higher, and then you got into triple digits, the old school New York, it's just, there was no more me, and I was just like, yeah, it was fucking crazy. So the whole joke was just me being scared and describing the neighborhood in my experience. And I remember I was in Florida, and how the white guy heard it, he came up to me, he's like, man, I like you. You ain't afraid of black pussy. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's how he heard it. And I was just sitting there like, that is not even remotely what the fuck I was saying. But it was liberating to hear him say that because then it was just like, if he's gonna be that far away from what the fuck I'm saying, then I, it's not my job to babysit you. You know what I mean? So like a lot of people, I think on the left, are doing that. They're like trying to babysit crowds and trying to babysit performers and trying to stick you in this hallway that you can now create in because like if you don't say these words, they're not going to think it or not. And it's just, it's stupid. I, I think they're trying to solve an unsolvable problem, unfortunately. No, but you're, you're very direct. Bill shit is, his point of view is not only strong, but it's, it's you. 